I remember the play like it was, you know, a second ago. Um, I remember seeing the call from Coach Cubit, um, lining up and then running my route. It was just a little stick route. Um, and then I heard my leg pop. And at that point there, I knew I tore it because um, my older brother, he tore his ACL too. Um, and he took, it was actually the same type of route I did. Um, and he told me that he heard the pop. And I was, I was, when I was younger, I was like, you really didn't hear the pop, like there's no way. Um, but then when I was out there, I heard it. Um, the trainers came over and they felt around my knee a little. And at that point, I just knew. Um, and you know, it is tough because I knew that something so important to me um, was about to be taken away for a long time. Um, so really, I just, just tried to continue to have a positive attitude. The ACL uh, usually tears in the mid-substance in uh, young athletes like Mike, and that's what we saw. Um, he had a little bit of bone bruising, meaning the knee shifts, uh, and that kind of bangs on the joint a little bit. He had a, uh, a small tear in his lateral meniscus, but it would be uh, a very common uh, uh, tear, and nothing unusual. He's about two weeks out. You know, the stuff we're doing is pretty basic, just trying to reactivate some muscles and um, try to keep the swelling down. And, and he's, again, he's doing everything we ask of him, and, and he's ready to progress on to the next stage. I mean, when, when you can't even lift your leg out of bed um, for a couple of days, you know, it's tough. I was out there doing what I love, you know, every day, and it's just another play, uh, just a freak injury. Um, so, you know, seeing that long road ahead, you know, it, it sucks. Um, you know, it's got to be done, and it will be done. I'm trying to take it this whole thing day by day. Um, and, you know, today, today's been a great day so far. Um, got the stitches out so I can see my scar. Finally, I can shower without having to wrap it. Um, you know, no more crutches. Got a smaller brace. Um, so, so far, today's been good. These are what my days are usually like. Kind of boring. We got back about four, four weeks ago. Um, I feel great. Uh, I was doing a lot of rehab at home. Uh, coming back here. Uh, sticking to that, uh, rehabbing every single day. Uh, we have a great training staff here, a uh, great support system, so uh, things are going great. We're also looking to make sure that he's not having any setbacks either. Um, now's the time that as you start to do more, you can, you can start seeing more pain, more, more of those sorts of things. So we just need to make sure that we, we, can, uh, we control that. We're not pushing him too hard. He's not pushing himself too hard and that we're able to make progress every day instead of you know, maybe having having some setbacks. I know right now I'm about nine weeks out uh, of surgery um, and things are looking great so far. Uh, but you know, I don't want to hear any dates. I don't want to hear any, you know, how far along I am. I just want to take it day by day um, and get back to 100% as soon as I can.